OK, we've got a situation now with a television station wanting to survey the uh, general public, find out about the views of the, the public, and they want a sample of 50 people, and they're going to use, to get that sample of 50 people, they're going to start with the electoral roll and then use some kind of sampling method from that. So what's the advantage and disadvantage? Well, the electoral roll is a record of everyone uh, from a constituency who's entitled to vote, and it's a ready-made list. And even better, um, it's a list of people by address. So as well as having the names of people, it also is done by street and by address. So we're going to have a fighting chance of actually being able to track down these 50 people and maybe get some information from them. So what could possibly be the disadvantage? Well, we've got to uh, be really careful, as always, with what our population is. Our population is the general public. Now, does our general public correspond to uh, the, the, the number, the, all the people entitled to vote in a particular constituency? And the answer to that is no, because some people will not be entitled to vote in that constituency. They might not live in that constituency. They might be underage. Um, they um, other reasons why people might not have a vote, or they may not have registered to vote. And there may be other um, non-voting categories of people not entitled to vote that you could add to that list. But that gets across the idea.